A few weeks ago, I asked you, my community, a following question. Ladies and gents, if you would just start into FPV and money were not a problem, which video system would you choose? You just wake up one day with one million bucks in your bank account and you think to yourself, I should start flying drones. And you could choose between whatever you want. DJI, Analog, Walksnail, HD0 or something completely different. The reason of this question is quite simple. I would like us to answer what is the best FPV system. But not according to me, but according to you, the FPV community itself. Let's forget for a moment about the specific and subjective view of the influencer and let's concentrate on you. And if you want to know who won, you have to stick until end of the video. Let's begin with the good old analog FPV. Basically unlimited range, as long as you can put more power into the VTX and have more more gain on the antenna. It's cheap, it's vastly compatible and unfortunately here is the end of the good things we can say about analog. The biggest problem of the analog is of course the extremely limited general quality of the video link. Low resolution, low image quality and usually it's quite receptible for any kind of the noise. So we can just forget about the clean analog FPV. But it's cheap and none of the digital components competitors can go even close to the price levels of the analog. Then we have the digital FPV, the first successful digital FPV system. Yes, successful, because before that we had some things that, well, were not really successful at all. Not open, DJI doesn't really care about the community, it's usually pricey, but it has some perks as well. First of all, the image quality is just superior comparing to analog. It's reliable, it has a decent range and let's be honest, the hardware is usually very good quality. But of course it's pricey and many people do not like DJI as the company at all. Probably the biggest competition for the DJI is the Walksnail, a system that in more or less two years went from non-existing on the market to the first runner-up status. In terms of the image quality is at least comparable to the DJI, it's much more open than the DJI and the walk snail or actually Cadix as the company cares what the community wants. But of course, it's also pricey and if you ask me, the hardware quality is probably slightly lower than the one that DJI offers. Then there is HD0, which concentrates on whoops and racing. On the pros of the HD0, we definitely can say that it's the lowest latency of all the digital FPV systems. It's well suited for racing and it's well suited for the teeny tiny 1S drones. And of course, it's very open. However, HD0 lacks in terms of the image quality. To be honest, well, it rather looks like analog over digital than digital itself. And then we go into anything else category. There are several very open, very immature and usually not really easily available digital FPV systems based sometimes, not always, on the open source. Here we have the example of the Open IPC, Open HD, Ruby HD, etc. Pros, well, they are open and they are something else. Cons, forget about just going to the store, even the internet one and buying everything that you need in one place. It's usually really closer to the do-it-yourself endeavor than the production market-ready system. By the way, have you already subscribed to the FPV University newsletter? If not, what's really stopping you? The link is in the description of this video. Finally, the answer to the question you've been all waiting for. What's, according to you, the best FPV system on the market? Is it DJI? Is it Walksnail? Maybe it's analog. Who knows? Yes, I know the results are not price optimized. But we cannot really assume every time that if something is cheaper than something else, it's better. Sometimes the quality is just expensive. Because if I would ask you the question, what is the best 
FPV system if the money are tight? Well, we all know that probably analog would won't because it's just the cheapest. And now the grand reveal. The first place and the 48% of the votes goes to da -dam -da -dam, DJI FPV. Not really a big surprise, right? The second place with 31% of the votes goes to the direct competition. That means walk snail. Third place and 11% of votes goes to the HD0. Analog gets 7% only 7% and 3% of you stated that they would like to go with something else. Those are the results. Now it's time for my commentary. Honestly, I'm not really surprised. DJI basically killed analog and created a new standard of what the FPV system should be. We might not like the company as the company, but still, according to 48% of you, they most probably make the best FPV system on the market. The second place is also not really a big surprise because in the last few years Woxnay really did a lot to become from basically nothing, not existing system to the second most popular one. They still have some work to do, but they are getting there. And of course, the biggest disappointment is definitely HD0. The system that originally tried to compete with the DJI just lost. The fact that the image quality just, well, sucks is not the best recommendation when spending that kind of the money. If you want low latency and racing, then you most probably just go with analog. But if you want anything else, well, DJI or Walksnail. Those are the results. What are your thoughts? Drop them down in the comment section. Anyhow, that's all what I got. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying! And by the way, I just love my new anamorphic lens. It's bloody amazing!